Do you did did you see improvements from the defense on Saturday? And t talking to coaches and players afterwards, seemed, seemed like they all uh, seemed to think you guys made some strides in, in diff different areas. Yeah, we're definitely working hard as a defense to to continue to improve uh, every day, every week. Uh, I think we played with a lot more uh, energy, and uh, you know, just got to build off that and keep going. When you when you look at the first quarter versus the next three quarters, you, you guys had I think three sacks and uh, uh, sh shut them out in the first quarter. What what, what was different maybe maybe ap after the first quarter? Uh, I, I think again, it's it's you know every, everybody hates to lose, and it, it's you know we're we're making strides to to, to just continue to improve, and um, we just got to continue to do that throughout, and uh, just keep working to get a day better every single day. You play close to to Cosmos, and I'm just curious, as someone who's who's been in the program for a while, where do you think that a younger guy like him, I mean, how much room is there for him to grow? Oh, there's a ton. I mean, he's he's incredibly athletic and, and has a bunch of talent. Um, and you know, him him getting to to get into the games and play right now, it's going to do really well for him uh, getting that game experience for down the road. And even even now this year too, he, he's he's contributing as, as a big part right now. Did, did him kind of coming on like that, did that surprise you guys at all, that uh, you know, such a young guy would, would kind of make his presence known like this? Uh, not really. I mean, it's, you know, every year it's, it's guys come in and everybody wants to play, everybody's competing to play. And so not really. I mean, every year you have guys that are coming in, whether it's uh, freshmen, whether it's JUCO guys, every, every year guys are coming in competing. And, you know, he's, he's doing his, his job and, and it's getting him play time. And, and he's doing a, a really good job capitalizing on that. Carson, can you uh, talk about the uh, you know, just the disruption of the, the DC change and, and how you guys responded to it, just in terms of uh, just uh, X's and O's? Um, you know, I, I wouldn't really say like a coach leaving is a is a disruption, uh, just for the fact that it's like you know it's kind of the nature of the business. You know, in college football, coaches leave all the time, and and uh, me personally, you know, I've been to three different schools in five years, so it's like. I've been around a lot of different coaches, and, and you know, us as a team, it's like we, we know it's like you know we just got to get to work and, and and do it. You know, it, we we appreciate everything that that happened, you know, that he did for us, and that happened, and we're just continuing to try to work and get better. Does it feel like it's a little bit different X's and O's ways in terms of emphasis? Um, it, you know, it, it's pretty much you know the same kind of idea. You know, we're just we're just out there trying to give you know full effort and uh, and you know give. Uh, just be, be nasty and violent every single play. So pretty much the, the, the same as, as we've always been. Coach talked about the, the need to maybe simplify some things and offer more clarity and decisiveness. Did, 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 did you guys see that at all on Saturday? Or? Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're definitely, um, you know, getting back to, uh, you know, sharpening up our, our basics and, and really getting those, those back to, to where they need to be. He also said maybe maybe you guys didn't receive the right message during fall camp. Do, do you know at all what he's talking about there as far as maybe, maybe something that didn't happen at fall camp that needed to happen or you guys weren't playing as hard or, or I'm not exactly uh, sure what it was. Yeah, but no, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, no comment on that. Yeah. How, how does Colorado look? They, they have a few uh, uh, talented receivers. That I'm, I'm, I'm sure getting to the quarterback, especially in this game, is pretty important to you guys. Yeah, I mean, just like anybody else in the pack, they're they're a very talented team. You know, they got some really talented offensive linemen and, and some really talented receivers. So um, it's going to be a, a, a big challenge for us up front to, to get after the quarterback. And uh, but we, you know, we love that. We love the the challenge, and, and where that's going to that's what we're trying to do is is uh, get after the quarterback, get some pressure on him, and and uh, have some fun on there out there on defense. Carson, have you kind of seen a light come on with Dallas? Uh, yeah, I think I think Dallas is uh, is playing really well, and um, I think he's starting to, you know, kind of get used to his body. I mean, he, he's gotten he's gotten pretty big, really fast. And I think he's getting used to it, and, it, and it's really, you know, the best for him. And, and he's he's playing really well right now, uh, really well with pad level, with his steps. He's, get, he's doing really well. Excited for him. What have you with the HBO cameras? Do you think it's been a distraction at all, or have you have you have you really noticed them, or do you, what does it add having having them around? Um, you know, it's kind of like Coach Leach always says. You know, just you know, focus on you know the main thing, keep the main thing, the main thing. And it's like we, you know, you kind of notice them, but it's like you know that that's not the main thing this week. The main thing is is to get a week better and go out there and and try to beat Colorado. And so yeah, you notice them, but you try to ignore them as best you can and and just move on and do what you always do.